What's up guys, Jarv here, back today jumping into Destiny. It's Friday, and these geezers and gals have only find this guy. You can find him over in the EDZ, in the Eds this week. He's over in the Winding Cove up by this skiff. Alright, let's have a look and see what he's got this week. Aha! The Prospector. I legit forgot this existed. <laughs> Excavation, detonate multiple sticky flame grenades at once. It also has chain reaction and full auto, which is kind of a wasted perk, I guess, now. But worth getting, I guess, if you're new to Destiny and don't have it. Uh, we've got Lucky Pants for you hunters, 65. Nothing particularly stand out there on the stats other than the low resilience, which is unfortunate. Uh, hand cannons ready faster and gain increased accuracy and bonus damage, which is really strong. Really good, actually. So worth considering grabbing those for PvE. Uh, we got the Armamentarium for you Titans, 65 as well, with high resilience of 17 and discipline at 15. So actually not bad in terms of distribution. And you gain an additional grenade charge, which is pretty pog. So yeah, worth 23 shards for sure, and not a bad roll either. And then we've got the Starfire Protocol, the go-to for Warlocks pretty much everywhere. 16 on discipline there, 65 overall. Uh, fusion Harness, extra fusion grenade, grenade kills, charge, rift. So yeah. Really strong, good for damage, good for everything. Definitely worth considering these two this week. For legendary weapons, though, we've got the Volpecta with Outlaw Adagio. The Enigma's Draw with Grave Robber Rapid Hits. The Friction Fire with Killing Wind Unrelenting. We've got the Under Your Skin with Archer's Tempo and Successful warm -up. It also has Land Take as the origin trait. We've got the Judgment of Kelgaroth with Immovable Object Incandescent, which is a pretty spicy roll. Uh, we've got the Blast Blaster 2 with Threat Detector Snapshot which is unfortunate. And we've got the Lonesome with Rapid Hit Swash, which is pretty spicy. So a few decent-ish rolls, but nothing godly with the legendary weapons. But we have finally, it has been like the longest time, we have the Escalation Protocol Armor for all classes. So for the Warlock, you've got the Yuga Sundown Gloves. Uh, we've got 60, uh, 57, 59, 60, and 61. So nothing high. But if you missed out on this Escalation Armor, this is the week. This is what we've been waiting for. So make sure to pay a visit on every class and pick up all the sets for your Transmog collection. And then we've got the Hawkmoon with opening shot, which is nice. We've got Heavy Grip, Alloy Mag, and Corkscrew. And then we've got Dead Man's Tail with Vorpal. Unfortunately, no High Cow. We've got Light Mag instead, though. We've got Composite Stock and Full Bore. So yeah, a pretty spicy week from Zer. These are two... Pretty decent chest pieces, and this armor set is an absolute must-have, so be sure to pay him a visit. No trials this weekend, though, because Iron Banner is in full swing, and Guardian Games is back next week, so keep your peepers peeled for that. I'll be back on Monday with This Week in Destiny, but until then, stay safe, stay awesome, and I'll catch you all again very soon.